Sour beers is another style of beers that are increasing in popularity. Although they tend to be very, very hard to grasp if you don't have a particular like for it. I remember the first time I tried a sour beer, you know, I, I took a sip and, you know, put it down and my mouth was puckering and I thought, what is that? Like I couldn't even understand that it was beer. But right after that, I wanted another sip. There was something about it that I found really compelling. And as I drank more and more sours, I started just wanting to, you know, try different ones. Sour can be an off flavor in beer, and so you have a lot of people who really don't want anything to do with sours because to them it's off-putting, it means something's gone wrong in the process. And whereas that can be the case, what's happening now, and, tra and has happened traditionally, there are, you know, many traditional styles of sour beers, like the Berliner Weiss, um, the Lambics and the Gooses, and just to be clear, the Gooses are a mix of Lambics. And those are, you know, a traditional Belgian style of, be of beer that, you know, has been being brewed for, you know, a very long time. But what's happening now is that a lot of American producers are trying to come up, you know, with their own sours. And what they're using now in order to create it are, you know, two pretty specific things. One is barrel aging and, you know, a lot of times you'll find yeast in the barrels. In the winemaking world, if you have a barrel that's infected with Brettanomyces, we're going to call it Brett. Um, it's, you know, it's, it can be a huge problem. But in the beer world, when you're looking to make a sour beer, you actually want to find those yeasts, the wild, either the wild yeasts around in the air, if you're lucky enough to have a cool ship. A lot of times, they'll try to help the process along by adding lactobacillus or pediococcus. Um, and those, those can actually, those are the, the yeast that tend to add the, you know, the real sourness or astringency to the beer, and that can be really balanced out by adding some bread. And what, what that does, hopefully, and what they're really aiming for is to create, you know, a really pleasant overall experience in the sour beer. So with the addition of those yeasts for souring and the aging in the barrels, sour beers can take a, a very long time to produce years really. These are an example of beers where you get into the price range of perhaps wines. You, you know, you'll find some very expensive bottles and the reason why is that you know, you're, it's taking up you know, that much skill. It's not just the ingredients there you know, or the brewing process, then it's also the time and the storage and the artistry really of, of making a really good sour.